In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a gradient based on the bounding box of the instance. Okay, so let's say you have an object and you want to make a, a gradient based on the bounding box of this object. So, maybe you used this node. But the problem is that this node doesn't work on instance. So, this mesh, okay, it, it works fine. But on my instances, it's all red. It doesn't work. So, let me show you how to fix it. To get a per instance bounding box, we're gonna need to write some code with HLSL. But don't be scary, because it's very simple and we can basically copy it from Unreal documentations. So here on the site, which you can find in the video description, we can uh, search for two functions and it's basically those two functions, instance local bounds center and instance local bounds extend. And this is all we need to calculate the bounding box of instance. So, let's go back to Unreal. Here in Unreal, I have two custom nodes. To make your own custom nodes, simply just type custom. And now you can write here some HLSL code. Let's go back. Um, instance local bounds center and instance local bounds extent, those are the functions from the documentation. XYZ are the components you want to take from this function. So, in my example, I want all of them, so I type XYZ. You can type maybe just Z if you want only Z axis. This get primitive data parameters. This part is required to make it work. Without this, this function will not work. And then I'm saving those value, this one and this one, as my center, because this part will give me the center of my instance, and this part will give me the half extent, uh, half bound extent. Even if the, in the name there is no half, in reality it's giving the, the half extent. Uh, of my bounding box. So if the center is here and this cube is 100 uh, centimeters, it's gonna give me the half of this value, so 50 centimeters. And I'm saving this as a bounce half extent, this, uh, this one as a center, and then I'm calculating my bounding box mean and max. So mean is basically the center minus the half bounce, so from here it's gonna be like uh, in this corner, because we are working in all axes. And for the max, it's gonna be in this corner. After that, we're gonna calculate our gradient. So I'm taking the word position, which is basically position of each pixel in the word space, and transferring it uh, to uh, instance and particle space because we want to work in the instance space. Uh, and this part is basically as uh, the center. The center is for the whole mesh, and this one is per pixel. So then we're subtracting the bounding box minimum from this because we want to offset it from the center to the to the corner on the bottom. And then we're gonna divide this value by the uh, our full bounds. So I'm taking the half bounds value and then multiply it by two so I have this full length in all axes. So this one is gonna give us the zero to one gradient based on the boundary box of our object. And after that, we can mask whatever channel we want. So for example, I want to have the B channel, so I mask only the B channel, and then I can use it as a layer for our colors. Here in my viewport, I have some instances. So those are the foliage, and those are packed level instance. And this is not instance at all. This is just simple mesh. And as you can see, it even work on uh, non-instance meshes. Uh, there is one problem that you may encounter. So Let's add some word position offset movement. And if you pay attention, you can see that the gradient doesn't move. I can even add this uh, pixelization effect to make it easier to see. Okay. And now, as you can see, it doesn't move at all. But the fix for it is very simple. Just go to your material and on absolute word position, change the shader offset type from the absolute word position including material shader offset to excluding material shader offset and apply this and now it's gonna follow the movement yeah and that's it for this tutorial so thank you for watching and see you next week